Hello, and welcome to another edition of Spotlighting Paradise. I'm your host, Henry White. Got a very special program on tap for you today. My guest is Jamie Kent of the Collective Music Group. And we're going to talk about a music concert series that's going to be happening right here in Northampton um, for the summer. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Good, man. Great Good. to see you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's a pleasure. So um, I'm excited about this. So let's get right into it. First of all, why don't we talk about the Collective Music Group? Because you guys are doing some um, some big things around here. Yeah, we're working hard. <laughs> Absolutely. What, what, talk to us about the Collective Music Group. So yeah, the, the Collective Music Group, we're a Northampton-based music production and promotion company. Uh, it sort of started a, uh, I don't know, a few years ago based on my own music. And I started something called The Collective where people invested in my career and they got t free tickets to shows. Uh, free music and, and a vote in all the decisions I make in my career. And that sort of spawned a greater vision of creating platform for musicians around the area, independent musicians, to come together and show strength in numbers and strength in, you know, in the community of it. So Absolutely. from there, yeah, we, <clears throat> we launched, uh, the, the first project we did was the Valley Rising compilation album. Right. And that, what was that about? That was, uh, you know, there's a great music scene happening in this area. And, you Absolutely. Know, we sp my band Absolutely. spends a couple hundred days a year on the road, and I would say that the bands coming out of here are some of the best ones, you know, that we see coming across the whole area. Really? But, um, so I wanted to create a platform to showcase that and highlight the, you know, top 10 or 12 bands that are really like on the verge of breaking coming out of here and have right. national potential. So that's what we did with the compilation album. That's happened each year for two years. We got big industry people to, to rate <clears throat> the submissions. We got, I think, over 100 submissions this last year. Really? And uh, some, some great, great judges, and the album's killer. And then we then had 10 bands uh, all play under one roof at the Iron Horse to, to celebrate wow. each year, which was pretty special. Too. That is, that's a big deal. It was a great way for everyone to share fans. Um, you know, trade marketing business ideas and right. really just like come together. Right, a true community collective kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, exactly. I love it. And then the next thing from that, we uh, started the Northampton Summer Concert Series last Which year. Which is absolutely, that's what I was going to say. It's your, um, this will be your second, second year. Second year, right? exactly. Yep, we started last mm -hmm. year. We sort of did a trial period. We partnered with the Northampton Bid um, <clears throat> Business Improvement District. Exactly. Okay. Because uh, there's there's a, a few different aspects uh, and goals of the summer concert series. One is to give a platform for musicians to play and showcase to the community. The other is to provide free music for the community in the summer. Absolutely. Because Northampton's a great music town, and every great music town needs outdoor music in the summer. Oh, I agree with you 100. Yeah, exactly. and it's kind of crazy that there hasn't been for. Tell me a about long it. Time. I mean, and I mean, they have, like you said. I mean, we have mm. some great music venues like the Iron Horse, right. Bishops, the Eleven, yeah. the Basement, and so on, but you rarely see an outdoor yeah. concert. Uh, I know Look Park does something as well, but... Yep, yep, but even they've so, done less and less, unfortunately. Right. Um, so talk to us about this concert um, yeah. series so, here. So we did it last year, we tested it out for a month, got great response from the community. Mm -hmm. So now this year we moved it, we extended it to two months, so it's going to be every Friday starting July 12th going until August 30th. Nice, at yeah. Pulaski Park? At Pulaski Park, right downtown? Right, right in the heart of Northampton. <laughs> yeah, we got a big stage coming in. Uh, and we're gonna have two to three bands each week. Uh, always a great local band paired with a great uh, nationally touring band. Right. And uh, we, we, we take a lot of care in picking the best independent acts. They're both gonna break you know, within the next couple of years. I guarantee people are going to, you know, a few years down the road be like, wow, I was <clears throat> dancing to that band, right. you know, at the Summer Concert Series for free, and now I'm, you know, hearing them all over the radio. Absolutely. Now, you're talking about both local and national acts. Like, I saw yeah. some, some very familiar names on here. Why don't you go down the, the, the lineup? And again, it's starting July 12th, folks. So, yeah, you know, this up. is just a couple of weeks away, exactly. actually a few weeks away. So... Um, yeah, why don't you talk about the lineup? I see Jamie Kent and the options. Yeah, we're ki we're kicking it off You're on July twelfth, okay. which is going to be fun, and we're mm -hmm. we're playing with a guy named Craig Bickhart, who is an incredible singer songwriter. Yeah, especially writer. Right. Yeah. Okay. He's yeah, had, yeah. he's written tunes for Ray Charles, uh, Johnny Cash, Wow, uh, Chris Christopherson, 
so many people that he's had his tunes oh, yeah. recorded by. So he's kind of a big deal, and it's going to be awesome to, to have him, you know, kicking it off with us. I've been really getting into songwriting for other people myself, so it's it's kind of an honor to do it with him Absolutely. and kind of learn from him as well. Right, still staying on that collective kind yeah, of um, exactly, thing. exactly, because he's an independent guy as well. Absolutely. Um, okay, and, and that's week, on the 12th. Yeah, and then, and then on the 19th we have uh, The Raft, which is mm -hmm. a killer sort of, Funk world music fusion uh, out of Westfield. We love the funk. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, they're killer. They're mm -hmm. all, all amazing musicians. Then we have Michael Bernier and Freevolt, which is this great reggae band uh, out of the North Shore, of Massachusetts, but they're touring all over the country this summer. Right. Uh, and then Boy Wonder, who is a killer soul. Uh, blues guy out of Philadelphia. He's one of the top guys out of Philadelphia right now. And, wow. uh, and he's doing a solo set to open it up, which his voice is like, you know, Michael Jackson is just a killer oh, voice. Really? So yeah, that's, okay. that's going to be a great night. So we're going to have to look out for him. Boy yeah, Wonder? Boy Wonder, okay. exactly. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I've got, a, I've got one of his shirts and it's, a, it's like a Superman logo, but with a BW. Oh, it's, really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> um, then the 26th of July, we have Darling Side and Roosevelt Dime. Darling Side lived in Western Mass for a while. They've since moved, but they're an incredible string rock quintet, four-part harmonies, wow. uh, electric guitar, bass, drums, cello, violin, just amazing arrangements, great songs. Mm -hmm. And Roosevelt Dime is uh, out of New York City. They're doing really great things around the country right now. They are sort of like a jug band, jazz, um, like New Orleans style jazz, okay. folk okay. mixture. Yeah. They have a bunch of horns, clarinet, banjo, that kind of thing. Um, and then on the kickoff August, we have Caravan of Thieves, who are one of my favorite live bands out right. there. They tour all around the country. Yeah. And they yeah. just like yeah, they just kick. Oh, they, they, they're they, awesome. If I can say it, they kick ass. They kick a lot of ass. They, <laughs> they are, really do. Exactly. <laughs> and opening for them is Tall Heights, who are this really great kind of Simon and Garfunkel kind of band mm -hmm. with a bony vibe. They're like it's a duo. It's cello and guitar, and they just have unbelievable harmonies and great songs. Right. So that's going to be a really cool way to open it up. And uh, not to steal your thunder, but yeah. the next group that I think you're going to talk about is one of my favorite local groups around Primate here. Primate Fiasco? Too. Yeah, those yeah. guys oh, rock, man. Absolutely. They really do. So they're on the 9th of August. Right. And they're just one of the best bands around here. They, they are. They're, they're so great. Talk about community, too. And I mean, they. Yeah, they, sometimes you just see them. It seems like they just pop up spontaneously they and really start do. jamming downtown. Exactly, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. They can, they, they're a band that can literally play any stage or any location in the world. Exactly. And, kill it, so. and the songs they play are so versatile. Oh, they and the are. genres they cross is just incredible. Yeah, it's I, love, I love those guys. Me too. So anyway, um, and they, yeah, they have a sort of a new reincarnation of the band too in the last year, which is kicking ass. Right, exactly. it's, it's really yeah, good. Yeah. Um, and uh, opening for them is Ship Rock and Anchor Dog, who okay. is this local duo, or actually trio now. They, they launched by do, uh, creating a, a folk opera. They, they did an really? album of 20, 24 songs that I, I sort of described like a Pixar movie, where it was, it's sort of based for children, mm -hmm. but the songs are so complex that like, they're amazing for adults wow. as well. And it's about the story of two dogs that go on this crazy adventure. And it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. right. People are going uh, to be dancing and, and really... It's sort of like, a, I, they're like they might be giants is sort of, really? is sort of their vibe. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, yeah. And uh, then after that, uh, on the, uh, uh, August 16th, we have Will Evans, who uh, is the front man of the band that just recently uh, broke up called Barefoot Truth. Absolutely. And they, they, you know, one of the most spun bands on Pandora ever. They have more spins than Bob Dylan, which wow. is kind of crazy. They've actually, I believe they played the Iron Horse. Yeah, they, quite yeah a few they've, times, they maybe. actually played the Calvin for their farewell Did they? show. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. they, uh, so he's doing his own solo project now, mm -hmm. so he's going to be doing that with a great Americana band called Autumn Hollow. They're just sort of like, Tom Petty, you know, Americana Rock, you're going to make you dance, and the songs are really catchy. So it's going to be a really cool right. combination. Uh, the 23rd of August um, has, is going to be a great sort of country, old-time country rock and roll right. act. The Salvation Alley String Band is a great local band with just awesome songs that wow. are, you know, just great, like sort of Hank Williams kind of country. Mm -hmm. And then Toy Soldiers is one of my favorite bands on the whole lineup. Uh, we played a South by Southwest showcase with them, 
and they blew me away. They're, uh, they were just named one of the top bands to watch for 2013 by USA Today. And, really? And they're just, uh, yeah, they're just classic rock and roll with a little kind of country twist to it, mm -hmm. and it just makes you want to dance. And right. It's awesome. And then to close out the series, we have uh, Lux Deluxe, which is one of my favorite local bands. They're just great rock and roll, kind of NRBQ, Dire Straits kind of stuff, mm -hmm. with one of the best front men, I think, is in, around here. Really? Uh, and Ned King, he's just uh, amazing to watch. And the voice that comes out of him is like, like what? Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they on their last record they had uh, Magic Dick from uh, J the Jay Giles band play harp. Oh, with really? Them, which is pretty cool. Absolutely. Um, okay. The the band the two bands playing with them uh, also are Indian Oven, which is a great local indie rock band, sort of like Modest Mouse, mm -hmm. and uh, Wayland Speed, which is like the the hottest band coming out of Vermont right now. They. Uh, they have a huge following all over Vermont, and they just got added to Grace Potter's uh, All Points North, or, uh, yeah, All Points North Festival in in Burlington. Right. That she hand selects the bands for, wow. and they're, so they're like just they're a great rock band as well. So it's wow. gonna be it's gonna be a great series of music. Absolutely. I mean, you've um, and again, I mean, congratulations to you and, yeah. and uh, for putting this awesome lineup and across uh, genre of, yeah. of different. Trying you know, to types of music. Music that sounds good to your ear and absolutely. makes you sort of want to move. And for summer, everybody, yeah. there's a little something in there for everyone. Exactly, exactly. Speaking of that, I mean, I would think this was a family affair kind of oh, thing. Oh, absolutely. Bring the kids. Bring the bring kids. Bring your lawn chairs. Yeah, lawn chairs, blankets. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, it's awesome. Come and hang out in Pulaski Park, listen to some good music. It, yeah, it's awesome. We, it, it grew and grew last year, and by the last concert it was packed with people, so get there a little early, bring a blanket, bring a Absolutely. chair. Absolutely. Come right after work, too. I mean, it's exactly. a, what's the start times of 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 o'clock goes to 8 o'clock, and then you can go across the street and grab a drink or Absolutely. You know, go to Sam's yeah. Pizza, grab a slice afterwards. You know, Absolutely. Right now, before we wrap up, uh, I, I really want to talk, and you mentioned the bid um, at yeah. the beginning here. How would you actually pull this off? And talk about some of the the sponsorships yeah. that you and give it really, a shout out because yeah, <laughs> I think this is a great opportunity. It, yeah, it, for not only for I mean just for Northampton in general and, and and people who may see this from the surrounding areas who want to come in. Also gave us a grant to make it happen, uh, and then each week there's a local Sage sponsor that's helping to make that's it happen, nice. and they get to go and, and really own the night and bring something cool like uh, Florence Higgs Bank and GoBerry are bringing face painting to nice. to, to their night. Um, we got Regali and Walder, Wright Builders, Fierce Kane and Bloomberg. Right. Um, let's see, we got so, so, just some, uh, yeah. Ode. Uh, Jackson and Connor. Parlor room. I'm the parlor looking. room. Yeah, the parlor room's the rain. That's important. They're the rain location in case it rains. Absolutely. All the concerts that's are right. going over to the parlor room, which is a killer new venue. That's in right. Town. Absolutely. It's intimate and just, right. it's awesome. And it's so, right down the street, folks, from the Pulaski Park. Yeah, exactly. So just down the street on the right Sonic next Street. To Woodstock. Exactly. Exactly. So. And yeah, and this, uh, the Center for the Arts downtown. Is, uh, help now as a stage sponsor. They're presenting our night, nice. so it's it's going to be a, it's, yeah. it's going to be a great it's great gonna. series, and it's it is made possible by their support. Like without without the the community coming to, coming together, the bands, the fans coming out to listen, right. and the local businesses to sponsor it, it wouldn't be possible. Absolutely. So. And with that, we want to encourage you again, folks, come down starting July 12th. You know what I'm thinking. Ah, the sweet sounds of music in the summer right here at downtown exactly. Northampton. Exactly. Jamie, thanks a lot. Thanks Keep up the great work. 
If folks want to learn more or hear or get in touch with you, how can they do that? I know you have uh, the Collective Music Yeah, Collective group. Music, yeah, Collective Music Concerts uh, mm -hmm. is the website that has all of the lineup, all the info, all all the sponsors on it. So you can go there and then it's got a contact form that has the emails for for my whole team that does it. Uh, you know, I do a big part of it. Robin Lee, she's right. my marketing director. She Shout works for, out the Robin. Yep, she's a she's a, a DJ on WMAS and does all the marketing for this. We got uh, Griff Bazigan, who also works for WMAS, who who does the helps with the production, and Greg Cameron, who is a writer for the Republican, handles uh, handles a lot of the production as well. So great. Yeah. Well, we look forward to it, and uh, again, keep up the great work. Yeah, thanks um, a lot. Thank you guys for tuning in. Want to give a, a nice, great big shout out to Northampton Community TV and the volunteers who made this particular show here possible. We always appreciate you guys. Um, see you next time on Spotlighting Paradise. Peace and blessings and keep the faith. <laughs>